Hello again everybody and welcome to back to basics gaming. Today I'm gonna show you in Ease 8 how to flash guard slash flash move or at least try to here. So I brought it up right here in the journal. You can always check it out here. Uh, for flash move it's a little vague. It says activate by pressing L1 at the right moment. Um, the right moment is basically right before its attack lands. You gotta get the hell out of the way. Um, flash guard it's a m much much more accurate. It says to activate by pressing R1 to block, and right before, right when it connects. So pretty much right before it connects is it's a parry. In other words, think Street Fighter, you know. Um, so L1 and R1. The difference between Flash Move and Flash Guard is that you'll gain for Flash Move you gain temporary invincibility and increased mobility. Great. It also fails to mention that. Um, it slows down time. It pretty much like slows down your enemies. Okay, you yourself not only move faster, yes, that's true, increased mobility, yes, but it fails to mention that your enemy actually moves slower. Okay, so uh, I know it kind of sounds weird, but I'll show you, but yes, they're, they're, two, they're two perks, make no mistake. It's not just one thing. It's not just you moving faster. It's you moving faster, and on top of it, your enemy moving slower. Flash guard, okay. Um, when you do it, your S, it says right here that your, the translation in this game is a bit fucked up, so bear with me. It says that you'll gain temporary invincibility, yes, that's true, and your SP and extra gauge will fill. Um, it kind of sounds like it's saying that it'll fill up all the way it really doesn't specify how much but it'll fill faster is what it should say it should say your sp and extra gauge will fill faster all right i think that the actual in-game tutorial when it comes up it, it might say that I, I don't know actually i think this is it um and all your attacks this is the most important part is that all your attacks will be critical hits for a short time um i believe you also move faster as well uh, in here like you have the increased uh, mobility and your enemies are slower too so again it kind of like it gives you the same perks as flash move as well um, the thing about flash move though is that it's a bit easier to pull off and it's a bit safer as opposed to where flash guard is a bit riskier because you're leaving yourself out in the open to try and block an enemy's attack and uh, if you fuck up which trust me you're going to quite a bit I still do um, which I'm sure you'll see in this video too, uh, you, you're gonna eat shit and it's gonna hurt. So we're just gonna go out there and we're gonna try and do our best. Alright, so we got a time. There's a guard. Alright, you know what? I don't think your enemies do slow down whilst in, but in here, as you can see, they slow down. You see that? That's flash move. Sorry, I'm just trying to get them out of the fucking way. My guys are a bit OP, so bear with me. There's another flash guard. And you'll see the little red shadow effect, the little red Adols. Or, I don't know, they say at all, right? Um, that's obviously, as long as that is that animation is going on, that's how long you're in flash guard. Also, the bar right there showing you, too. But you get the cool shadow effect, too. I really dig that. Um, flash guard, like I said, it's definitely more rewarding because all of your criticals hit. So, for example, if you really, really want your enemies to eat shit, okay, now, my at all is, he's yoked the fuck out. Um, if you see here in the stats, right underneath him, it says 99 strength, 983 defense, so it's really hard for me to show off. Um, and that was a delayed ass flash guard there. Uh, anyways, you want to try to perform flash guard more than flash move, um, but I think flash move is good for practicing, but again, uh, yeah, so flash move, it's going to have an animation too when you're attempting it, obviously it's your dodge roll here, which is going to be like one of your best friends in the game, especially when you're first starting out. Um, the problem is though with flash guard, there is no animation. Um, there's this, like when I press R1, there's that little bubble thing that happens, but I think that's just to um, show you that you're readied with your um, SP skills. You know, these, the, these things, you see what I mean? Um, 
So there's no real animation. Like, I wish that they kind of gave the guy a shield or something so it can show, like, the parry actually um, land landing or getting readied or what have you. But uh, if you pay attention, though, Edo will actually block with his sword. So, um, I mean, you do see an animation. My guy's not fucking kill. Let's see here. Pay attention. Let's see, he does block with his sword, but, um... Up until that point, though, he doesn't do anything when you press just the R1 button. Like, you can't see him doing anything. Uh, you can only see him doing it when you successfully pull it off. So don't worry. Like, it's there. Like, it'll register. Obviously, different enemies have uh, different attacks, and that means different timings, too. See what I mean? Jelly Bean. Flash Guard. Flash Move. So yeah, flash move, um, the enemies move slower and you move faster. And uh, that's that's pretty much it, man. I don't really want to drag out the video or anything, but yeah, you're just going to have to practice with different types of enemies because there's going to be some enemies, they move quick and shit, and it might not even be worth it to try and uh, do a uh, flash guard. There's still plenty of enemies that I face that I just suck at uh, guarding them. Uh, fortunately, though, most of the bosses, I think they're pretty easy to telegraph with the flash move and the flash guard. So, I mean, uh, other than that, that's really it. I can't really think of anything else to, to chime in about it, except just make a save file, practice your ass off with it, and uh, before you know it, your, your Ease 8 experience is going to be that much more entertaining, I promise you, because it's a very, very, it's very satisfying when you... You know, when you master, or at least try to master, um, the, the flash move and the flash guard. Very, very satisfying. And, of course, um, I'll show you one more thing that I wanted to um, actually bring up. The best time to use your EX attack, which is your basically your limit breaker, right? Now, I'm going to... This guy is going to eat shit so fast, all right? But I'm just going to show you right now. If you flash guard, you find somebody that... Not, pretty much nobody in the game can withstand a single a single attack from me. Uh, I guess I could be one of the other guys, but fuck that. Uh, add all for life, cuz. Alright, eight shit there. Eight shit there. And eight shit there. Sheesh, okay. This guy is showing me how it's done. So, um, every attack that you do, Wilson Flash Guard, is going to be um, a critical, right? So... Naturally, when you are in the flash guard state, fucking this, and then do your EX when you when you have to, when you need to, because every single one. See, it sucks that I can't show you, but every single one of these attacks is going to be a critical hit. So bear that in mind, and then your gauge will still be popping off right afterwards too. So you can still land in some heavy criticals, and you'll be invincible too. So you can really, really dish out the punishment and. Uh, make these bosses eat shit so um yeah that's basically it sorry i've broken data so i really couldn't show you uh the flash guard ex combo but you get what i'm saying i'm, I'm pretty sure you, if you're playing this game that must mean that you are on some level of intelligence because this is a great game and um fucking smart people know about this game all right man so uh that's it thanks for watching thanks for listening and uh thank you for helping me get back to the basics Play Ease 8. Great game. Pla practice. Practice. Practice your flash guard and your flash move, damn it. We'll see you next round.